Hello, this is Daddy, and this is my assistant, Zoe, and we're here to talk to you about the history of computers. First of all, there once was a time when there were no computers at all. And so if you were to go looking for a computer store, you would not find one. All you would find is this. Eventually, however, computers were invented. One of the first things that Daddy had when he was a little boy was actually not a computer, but it was something that hooked up to the TV, and you could play games on it, and the games looked something like this. Things got a little bit more advanced, and they looked like this. One of the first computers that I ever had when I was a young teenager was a Commodore 64. Here's what a Commodore 64 looks like. Now I hope that you also notice that the Commodore 64 has a separate disk drive. You put a disk into that computer and the disk looked something like this. Yes, that disc was big, but it didn't even hold that much on it. Everything that you can put on a little flash drive right now is so much more than you could put onto that big floppy drive, as it was called. But that's all we had back then, and we enjoyed it. And Daddy used that Commodore 64. But eventually, other computers were invented until we got to where we are now where we have computers that are very powerful and can do so many different things. I don't know if you ever heard the true story, but at one time I had a computer at home and our house wow. was broken into by some thieves. And the thieves were stealing things and when the police came, they tried to get out of the house, and they wanted to jump through the window, but they had to break the window, so they threw my disk drive through the window. I had to get a brand new disk drive. Isn't that crazy? I think it's crazy.